we're going to take a look at how to divide our score into different sections by utilizing markers, which we're going to use these markers later on to, um, to apply our code. So let's take a look at what we have here. We've dragged in some graphics from the cast and placed them directly onto, um, onto our score. And we've got our score divided into essentially three sections because I'm going to have three buttons here that are going to um, direct me to those three sections inside of our movie. Like I mentioned before, Director is a very linear application. So we've basically set up our score in a linear fashion. So this chunk is a new page, this chunk is a new page, and this chunk is a new page. So when we look at our, um, when we look at our score, as we move across, we want to set up a marker here um, and here and set up a marker here and set up a marker here. So when our when we punch up the buttons, it will navigate to this section, to this section, and navigate back to uh, to this section. We want to place two here because if we wanted, so we might have some animation here that we want to be able to maybe go back and play again um, in some cases. So we'll go ahead and place two markers. Now, in order to set up the markers, so we have our sections um, set up correctly, we want to um, go up here to the top half of our score. Now, this half is something that we looked at before, which is just another section to set up. This is not where we want to place them. We actually want to place them up here at the top. This top gray line, this gray, empty gray area is where we want to place our markers. And they can be a little bit funny because as you click anywhere in that area, it's going to place a marker for you. Now, if you place it in the incorrect spot, it's very easy to fix. Just roll over with that marker or roll over on top of that marker. It changes to a hand cursor and we can just click and drag to the left, click and drag to the right, and it will um, it'll align itself into each particular frame. And we will click and drag here. We can move this one over and we'll click and make another one. Let's say a mistake and put one here. Oh, yikes, I don't want it there. Just click up and drag, and it will eliminate that marker. So we'll do, um, we'll do start maybe for this one. And we'll click here in new marker and give this one main. We'll click here and say message. Or actually, we'll do, we'll do video. And we'll click here and do victim. We'll actually make another marker here, and we'll name that one letter, because we'll use that a little bit later. So now we essentially have, um, what was got four or five markers, and if we need to move them anywhere, we just click and drag over, delete one, remember, click and drag up, deletes it, and click right there in the middle. If we roll over right there on the text itself, it allows us to, uh, to rename that marker. So we essentially have them all set up and we're ready to go ahead and apply our action script to our movie with utilizing the markers.